In this video, I'll show you how to add Webflow form responses to Google Sheets automatically. And the interesting part here is we are going to collect the data of all the forms that are embedded on your website into our spreadsheet. Okay, so what will happen every time the form response is received, the details, the responses will be collected into the Google Sheets automatically. Want to create this automation for yourself? Come with me and I'll show you the whole process step by step. Now, in order to automatically collect the form responses into the spreadsheet, firstly, I'll have to build an integration in Webflow and Google Sheets, and I'm going to integrate these two with the Pabli Connect. It is an amazing integration and automation software, and I'm an existing user of Pabli Connect. So here you can see I am already logged in, but you can also create your free account in just two minutes from this button, and you will also get free tasks in the free account. Okay, and once you will reach to the dashboard, very first thing you'll have to do is to click on this blue button that is create workflow and now provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i'll provide the name something like get submissions data of all the forms embedded on webflow website okay now simply click on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you so these are actually trigger and action so trigger means when this happens action means do this whenever this happens, then automatically do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation according to our use case whenever the form response or form submission is received into this webflow website into the webflow form in that case automatically add those details into the google sheets application okay so we need to select the applications in which we are building an automation okay in this case i'm building this automation in webflow and google sheet so i have selected these two in this trigger and action okay now you will have to select this trigger event okay so i want that whenever any new form submission is made okay you can even read the instructions trigger on new form submission that too instantly okay so i have selected the same now simply click on connect click on add a new connection and for connecting webflow with the public connect you'll have to provide the api token so you can read these instructions one by one all right so let me first take you to the webflow dashboard okay so this is the dashboard now i am going to open this particular website which i have created using webflow now once the website is open simply click on this three dots dots at the top left corner and then open the project settings under this project settings we will find an option of the integration okay so as per the instruction firstly we will have to open the project settings then integration then api access and from there we are going to generate in an api token okay so this is the dashboard and here you can notice the integration option and from here exactly i'm going to generate my token all right so here you can see several options are visible here and i'm going to use this particular option that is generate a new api token all right you can see it has got generated let me copy this token come back to pabli connect and let me paste the same token here and this is how you will see webflow will be connected with the pabli connect now it is asking to select the website well why it is showing a single website because we have specifically added the api key of this particular website only okay now simply click on this button save and send test request and you will see that it will start waiting for the response okay so what does that mean read the instructions that uh, once you have clicked over the save and send test request button do a test submission or record in that application and add order to capture the response here okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record okay so i am going to do a test submission and here the test submission means new form submission okay so i I will first open the website and then i'm going to make a dummy submission by submitting the form okay and i can open my website link directly from here and in this website i have created in total two forms okay one is in this hr section on this particular page here you can see i have created this hiring form and another form i have created in this about section for the basically it is a contact us form okay contact form okay now i'm going to do the submission firstly for this particular form okay so here when you will come back to public connect you will again notice that it is still waiting for the webhook response okay so let me submit this form with some dummy details 
All right, so I have provided the name as dummy customer, a random email address, a dummy phone number, the digital marketing is going to be the position, any reference name and total number of years of experience. Okay, so I'm going to submit this particular form and then come back to Pabli Connect. And here you can see as soon as I have made the submission in that form, the response is received. Now let me show you the details one by one. Okay. So we have the name of the form, the position of the person, the name of the person as dummy customer. Here we have the phone number email address and the contact person okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that connection in between webflow and pabli connect is working absolutely fine and currently i have captured the data of only one form okay so firstly i am going to add the data into the google sheets now the interesting part here is in this particular case in this particular automation instead of selecting this google sheets directly i'll have to select a router well router is an amazing feature of pabli connect via which you can apply different kinds of condition okay so here you can see router feature okay and basically i'm going to specify two conditions basically two routes here okay one route will be for the hr form submission and second route will be for the contact form submission okay so let me first rename these two routes from here okay so if you'll click on this three dots you will be able to edit the name okay and hr form submission data okay all right let me click on update and in the route 2 i'll rename it as the contact form submission okay contact form submission data okay so i have firstly renamed these two routes okay and then i'm going to do the setup for this particular form okay so let me click on the set filter and action steps and here it is asking me to set a condition using this filter option so before i apply any condition here firstly i'll show you the spreadsheet okay so here you can see i have created a spreadsheet with the name all website form submission data and in this spreadsheet also i have created two tabs one is for the hr form submission data and another one is for the contact form data and here exactly in the pabli connect i'm i'm actually specifying the same thing that if the submissions are arriving from this hr form in that case add the data here into the sheet okay and if the submissions are arriving from this contact form in that case the data should be added here okay and i am actually specifying the same thing here okay so for the hr form submission data we will first select a condition how in this drop down you will be able to see the all form submission data which we have just received via web form form submission okay and here i am going to specify the condition on the name of the form okay so if the name of the form is actually equal to the hr form okay the responses we have received if those responses are coming from this particular form name okay simply click on this button and you will see the condition will be true okay so if the condition is true what should be the next step it should add the data into the google sheets and into which particular google sheets so remember i have just shown you that i have created two google sheets okay so i am going to select the first one that is the hr form data okay so simply select your application and in the action event simply select this add new row click on connect then i can also go with the existing connections because i have already made the connections but you'll have to go with the new connections only and provide the access of your uh, sheet account okay but i'll go with the existing connections only because i have already made the connections uh, simply click on save and this is how your google sheets will be connected with the pabli connect all right so now after the connection here you can see whatever the spreadsheets are available inside my account have started visible here and i'm going to select this all website form submission data this particular spreadsheet which is visible at the top only and in this select a sheet here you can see since i have created two tabs so it is showing two spreadsheets two sheet okay and i am going to select this hr form for this particular condition for this particular route okay and now it is asking for the name email and phone number okay so these are the same columns which i have created into my spreadsheet here you can see i have created this name email mobile number position reference total number of years okay so one two three four five six in total i have created total six data so here you can see name email phone number one two three and four five six okay so these are the same columns i'm going to provide the details one by one now from where i'm going to provide the 
data remember we have just received the data into our previous step and i am going to map the data here into these specific fields and mapping is very simple simply click on this particular field and you will find the data of above step here in the drop down now asking for the name so here we have the name of the person asking for the email address so let me search for the email address all right so i have mapped the email address asking for the mobile number so let me also search for the mobile number all right so i have mapped the mobile number asking for the position all right so he has applied for some digital marketing position okay so in this way i'm going to map the data in other two fields as well all right so i have provided the data in all the fields now you must be thinking that what is this mapping okay so whatever the data you are going to map here will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time so that is why we are adding this data with the help of mapping and mapping plays an major role inside this automation okay because this is how this automation is going to take place and here you can see the responses received let me go to back to my spreadsheet and here you can see the same response is received into our spreadsheet as well so we have the name the email the phone number the position the reference the total number years of experience okay so this is how now onwards every time someone is going to submit your this particular form the data will be collected into this specific sheet now it is turned for the second form okay that is embedded on this about page okay here you can see the contact form and in this form i have only two Fields, okay so how i am going to set up this automation for this particular form again come back to pabli connect now close this particular router step now we will jump to the second router step that is contact form submission data okay before that firstly we will have to capture the data of our second form okay so simply click on this recapture webhook response button click on yes and then you'll have to made a dummy submission in this particular form also okay so now i'll use some other details something like test customer okay and email address will be demo at the rate pavlitudes.com okay so i have provided the details let me submit this form come back to pavli connect and wait for the response and here you can see the responses received already okay here again you can notice the name of the form we have the name of the person the email address of the person okay and now i am going to send this data to which particular step basically to this router step okay so simply open this particular router step and here we are going to set the condition that whenever the data is arriving from this particular form okay so when the form name is equal to the contact form in that case this automation should proceed okay so on clicking on this button you will see the condition will be true and if the condition is true what should be the next step of course it should send the data into the google sheet so just like i have connected the data into my previous router step i am going to again connect this google sheets here also in the same way in the action event again add a new row simply click on connect go with the existing connections since we have already made the connections click on save and this is how your google sheets will be connected with the pabli connect once again now again select the spreadsheet name then select the sheet name this time i'll select this contact form sheet here you can see this contact form sheet i have selected okay let me also correct to do the formatting okay a little bit okay come back to pabli connect and since i have only two fields in this particular form okay i'm sorry for that since i have added only two columns into this spreadsheet so that is why it is showing only the data of two columns okay and now i'll map the name of the person and then i'll map the email address of the person and directly clicking on this button on clicking on this button you will see the data will be added this time into this specific sheet okay so response is received and the data is also added okay so this is how now on words this automation is going to work on the basis of condition okay so what will happen every time the form response is received doesn't matter how many forms you have embedded into your webflow website you can collect the data of all the forms here into your google sheets by simply creating this automation inside public connects and let's say you have in total five forms uh, in your website in that case you can apply five routers condition using this router feature which is an amazing feature of public connect okay so let me show you what exactly we have done firstly we have connected web 
workflow with the Paply Connect and capture the data of the form responses here into our dashboard. And then we have applied this router feature in which we have applied several conditions. Basically, on the name of the form, we have applied the condition. Now, once you will create this automation inside Paply Connect, you do not have to do anything manually. Okay, simply set this automation and then you can close Paply Connect. Sit back and relax because Paply Connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end. You do not have to do anything manually. And just in case, if you want to access this automation, I'll also add the shareable link of my workflow into the description box. Okay, simply click on that link and sign up into the Pabli Connect, and then you will be able to access this automation inside your Pabli Connect account that too for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate made their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video